Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Ongoing Mainstream with Linux. Today we're going to be talking about the Banshee Media Player. The Banshee Media Player is very similar to the Windows Media Player and allows you to organize your media collection, whether that be music files, voice recordings, MP3 files, movies, podcasts, audiobooks. You can use this Banshee Media Player to uh, maintain that information on your Linux operating system. I'm on Linux Mint 14. And sometimes you might run into a situation where you're trying to sync all that digital content from your mobile devices with Banshee Media Player and it just doesn't work. Well, I had that situation happen with my Samsung Stellar. Uh, so I had to find a workaround and the workaround was using another file manager called ADB File Manager I found from GitHub from a developer named Sol and I installed her file manager using her instructions and I created a video on how to do this and here's the instructions I used so if you click on this link here you'll be able to install this instruction step by step. Now that I've already had that file manager installed on my computer it's just a matter of me plugging in my cell phone to my Linux operating system. I also have to make sure that I'm on developer options and USB debugging is checked on my phone and when I do that it mounts my phone to my Linux operating system and it brings up the ADB file manager on the left hand side is the directories that are stored on my computer here on the right hand side is the directories stored on my phone's SD card. Now I'm going to be taking the content from DCIM folder and in the camera there's two MP4 files from footage I took from my phone's camera and I'm going to create a folder called Android Video. It shows up here. I'm going to move this to the right here so you can see it and I'm going to double click on it. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my mp4 files and drag them to that folder beneath it. So I'm going to highlight the first file, click on the control button, then I'm going to use my left mouse button again to highlight the second file and then I'm going to release the control button and then I'm going to take the first file it doesn't matter which file just one of the files and I'm going to highlight or actually use my le left mouse button and hold it down and then use my mouse to drag it down to my Android sounds folder and you can see that it also dragged the other selected mp4 file. I'm going to close that folder and I'm going to go back to my main directory and the next thing I'm going to copy is some voice recordings of myself doing karaoke on my phone and they are going to be stored in the sound folder. Here they are, there's four files. I'm going to once again create a folder called Android Sounds. And I'm going to drag it here, double click on it to open it, and I'm going to follow the same method I did before. I'm going to highlight the first voice file, click on control, 
fold it down and then I'm going to select the other three files, let go of the control button and then drag the first file down. And it should copy the rest of the selected files. Now I'm going to close the file manager and also the Android sounds folder and I have my files ready to import in my Banshee media player. So if I double click into Banshee and I go to music so I'm going to highlight the music folder here under libraries and then I'm going to right click and click on import media then I'm going to choose folders and it automatically goes to my Android sounds folder and I see the four files here and I'm going to click on import and it imports the four files that were in there. Now if I want to make a playlist I can make a playlist and I can drag the files from that music file into that playlist so it automatically started playing the playlist once I clicked on it so I know that's working the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the video section and I'm going to right click on that as well and select import media then I'm going to choose folders and I'm going to go to the desktop and select Android video I'm going to click on import and notice how it imported the two mp4 files so if I highlight the very first one This is a video of my Linux Mint 14 desk. That's the first video. If I go to the unwatched and it will go to the second one. All right, here's a second video for So there. That's how you do it. And hopefully this helps. If you ever run into a situation where you're unable to directly sync your digital content from your Android device to Banshee Media Player. Thanks for watching.